Hi, welcome back. Okay, so now we are doing the PSLE 2022, finding the unknown angle X question, okay? So how do you find the unknown angle X? There's actually more than one way to do this, and uh, this is my preferred choice. So right now, we can see that there, it says that there's a rectangular piece of paper, as shown over here, with the two corners folded in. So basically, what that is trying to say is that, let me show you. This corner is folded over here. This corner is folded over here. Okay. Now, the corner of any square or rectangle is 90 degrees. So this corner over here, we know is 90 degrees. All right. Of course, that also applies to every other corner. So since this is also 90, I'm just going to highlight this for a little bit. So 90 degrees here as well. Now, the next thing you need to know is that when you fold a piece of paper, the two angles over here are identical. Likewise, the two angles over here are also identical. Since that is the case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start by finding the angle over here so that I know the angle over here, which would be the same, right? So I'm going to call this first angle, uh, angle W. Okay, you can do, you can name it anything you like. Just let me la label this as W. Okay, and then since this is X, I will call this Y and I'll call this angle Z. All right, so first let's find angle W. And since this is a triangle, then the sum of the three angles is 180. So if I were to take 180 and I were to subtract away these two angles, that should give me angle W, okay? And we know that angle Y is the same as W. So I'm basically also finding angle Y. So what I'm gonna do now is, let me write this down, angle W, which is also equal to angle Y, is actually found by taking 180 minus 73 minus 90, and this will give us 17 degrees, okay? So put it for all of them. Now, this means that I now have 17 degrees here and 17 degrees over here, okay? And, the next thing we're going to find is we're going to find uh, this angle Z. So to find angle Z, all I have to do is now take 90 degrees, which is the total, and subtract away Y and W. So that's what I'm going to do now. So angle Z is 90 degrees minus 17 degrees times 2, or if you prefer, you can put it either way, it doesn't really matter. This will give you 90 minus 34. So that should give you 56 degrees. So if this angle Z is found to be 56, and since it says here that the shaded parts are identical, then we can assume that since the shaded parts are identical, this angle should also be 56. Okay, because they are identical, right? Which means that this is an isosceles triangle. So being an isosceles triangle and being a triangle, the total is 180 degrees. So my last step, that's right. I just got to take 180 and I got to take away these two angles and that should give me the answer I am looking for. So that's all there is to it. So let's finish that. So angle X is... 180 minus the two 56s, which is the base of the isosceles. So that's 112. So that should give me 68 degrees. And that is the answer to the question. Hope it was. Were the explanations clear for you? If you have any questions, remember to leave it in the comments and I will answer them. If you have found this useful, please share it with your friends. But most important, remember to subscribe as this channel was made to help parents in their journey. I would appreciate that a lot. If you want the worksheet, 
Look in the description below in my Telegram group, join it, and you will find the worksheet there. I will see you again.